G'day guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I am going away on Monday and I want to show you what I pack when I go away on assignment. So I'm down to King Island for seven days and I've got a, an array of shots that I have to do from landscape, product, um, uh, profiles of people uh, and some aerial shots. Okay, so this is what I'm taking. I try and simplify everything that I take. I don't want to take too much gear. It gets a little bit overwhelming sometimes. But I'll take two camera bodies, which will be the A1s. Now I take two of them. One of them's filming at the moment. I'm taking two of them because if you're on a, on a big job and say you've dropped one or something happens to the particular camera, you always need a backup. There's nothing worse than being stuck on an island and then have to um, try and source another camera from somewhere. It's a nightmare. So, okay, here we go. So I've got 24 to 70, which is filming us now, and that's pretty much my workhorse lens, a 24 to 70 f 2.8. We've got the 70 to 200, which is beautiful for getting that really sort of compressed look on your photos, that shallow depth of field. Okay, so I'll be using that in the water. I'll be using that um, on the land to get those compressed sort of uh, landscape photos as well with the ocean in the background. Um, and also portraiture, I'll be using that one people as well. So that one there, it's a beautiful lens, 24 to 70 is an amazing lens. I use that for the landscape part of it, uh, um, for also the architectural stuff and uh, also the portrait work as well. So it is um, definitely all rounder. Um, I like to also put on the prime. So I've got the F1.8 135 from Sony, super beautiful lens, really shallow, you get some really really different looks with that particular lens, um, just to the how low the, the aperture is at f1.8. So um, that's one of my favorites, that one. Uh, 12 to 24 is fantastic. I use that underwater. Um, I'll also use it inside. So if there's some really nice um, interiors that I need to get, the 1224 is fantastic for that as well. Um, and also landscape, I'll be using that for the landscape. Um, now on the A1 body here, I've got the uh, 1.2 50mm, which is a fantastic lens as well. Um, I'll use this for portraiture, uh, but I try and keep it pretty simple. You know, I've, I, I'll, I'll probably take those, those lenses, those are like four, so five lenses and two bodies. Um, and I've got the Pro Photo as well. So this, this is the Pro Photo, it's a really good mobile unit. Uh, I'll use that to sort of fill flash. Um, I, I tend to like to use natural light as much as I can. But this is great just to give it a bit of puff. If, you know, if we've got the sun coming to the left, it's just nice to have a little bit of bounce coming from the right. Um, yeah, it's a very simple system, but super easy to use. I'll use that with the softbox as well. Okay, now, like I said, I'll be doing some underwater. So underwater, I'll be using the Aquatech system. So I'll just grab that. So this is the Aquatech system here for the A1. Put that there for you to have a look at. Um, and this is the 7200 port with the, with the um, port front on as well. So it's a nice long cylinder that, that'll fit this little baby in. So you need that length, super easy to use. 12 to 24, we'll have the dome. So this will be the 12 to 24, um, nice and wide so I'll get those split shots. Uh, any curvature in the, in the ocean, like if I'm shooting waves, which I will be down there, um, I'll be using this as well. And 24 to 70. 24 to 70, because it has such a large uh, focal range from 24 to 70, you really need to have the ability to not see the corners on, on, these, on these ports. So they make them nice and wide, a huge circumference there. Um, and that's, you know, 24 to 70 in the water is also one of my favorites. Um, it's just so versatile to be able to zoom in, zoom out uh, in the water. Super handy. Uh, my bag, I'm using the Pro Tactic from Low Pro. Um, I am using the Osmo from DJI. This gets a lot of my BTS. Um, I haven't done much BTS now because I'm doing, now that I'm doing the masterclass, I want to try and get you guys as immersed as, you, as I can in what I'm doing. So uh, these are fantastic for that. So I'll, I'll, I'll put one of them on either the water housing or if I'm doing a quick shoot, I'll put one on a tripod somewhere, get that rolling, so super handy. Uh, really important as well, when you're working on production, you wanna be backing stuff up. So I use the SSD card, SSDs. 
Um, these are about a terabyte and I will always double back them up. So I'll have one copy here and one copy here and I will put them in different places as well. So I'll put one in my camera bag and then one in my luggage that goes under the plane just so I've got a backup just in case anything goes wrong and it does go wrong and you don't want it to go wrong, especially on an important shoot. Um, other than that, I've got my DJI Inspire 3. Uh, so I'll be doing some videos with that as a couple of, a couple of landscape photos as well, just to have those establishing shots. Um, so as you can see, I've got a lot of gear. Uh, gets a little bit overwhelming when you go to the airport and you've got all this stuff, and then they go, oh, sir, can you pull that out so we can have a look at it? And you're like, oh my God, I just packed it all. But uh, it's a rewarding job. I love doing what I'm doing, and um, I can't wait to show you highlights from this weekend or this week. Uh, I'll be doing some filming while I'm down there for my masterclass, just to show you behind the scenes of how it works on production. And uh, yeah, it's easy. So. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Any questions, make sure that you put them down below. I'll endeavor to get back to you. I'll have a busy week, so I might struggle doing that, but just um, be patient and I'll, I'll get back to you on it. But have a lovely week, guys, and I am stoked to be doing this and sharing my career with you. Thank you. See ya.